You probably noticed this incredible growth of animations in web applications like this Huli.io for example, or something like this lightning that I created in only 10 minutes and to do that I think it's really important to choose the right libraries which are easy to use and implement. So in this video we are going to cover three animation libraries that are really easy to use and they are compatible with every React framework. First one is called React Bits and you're going to love this one. That lightning that you saw is actually from this library and check out how easy it is to implement it. We just go to code, here we can see the usage and the implementation of the lightning. We have the code which we just copy and paste to our project. We can choose default which is CSS option, we can choose also tailwind option and here we can choose whether it's JavaScript or TypeScript. If you're not sure how to implement it, just ask me in the comments and I'm also going to put the GitHub repo where I created this lightning in the description below. And let's check more backgrounds here. We have this Balatro, it's looking really amazing. Then this Dieter. Imagine creating some portfolio and putting this on your landing page. That would be really incredible. Also this shape blur, it's looking amazing. Then these threads, this, this is something I'm waiting to put somewhere. I don't know where, but it's looking really nice and modern. Then we have this hyperspeed and things like this. It's really incredible that this stuff is actually free. And these are only the backgrounds. We didn't check, we checked maybe half of them. But also here we have a bunch of text animations which are really looking cool. Like this fuzzy text, check out this one. This is really nice. Then gradients, falling text. This is something I haven't seen anywhere. Only here like in React Bits and there are so many awesome things also here, animations like this pixel transition, magnet lines. I mean, it's really something that you can play around and use on your applications to make it look much better and cooler. Second one is Asternity UI and this one is really going to make your application look nice and modern. If we compare it to React Bits, it is a little bit more UI oriented than React Bits. React Bits is more like explosions and big animations, but this one has some really nice things like this UI for example, which is really nice. And from Eternity, most often I'm using their spotlights, they're really making your landing page open somehow. They also have these like double spotlights, which are looking really awesome also. And again, implementation is really easy. You just go to code, you have here installation, you put in the dependencies that you need, the utils, if you're not using ShedCN, you need to put this one and you copy and paste entire component inside of your project. Here also you can choose between TypeScript or JavaScript and they're also upgraded to Tailwind version 4. And some components that I will recommend, first one is this background beams. I'm using this one on my website, it's looking really cool, I like it, it's looking also great in light mode. Then we have these background boxes, check out this one when I'm moving my mouse, we are creating this like square animation. There is also this canvas reveal effect which is looking really cool and can be used for some pricing page or something like that. And I really like this tracing beam which is following you while you're reading the blog and this is something that can really make your application stand out. And the third one is the least extreme of these three libraries and it's called Motion Primitives. I'm using this library when I need some subtle and nice looking modern animation like something like this. This is really awesome for some loading text or something like that and implementation is really easy, they are using the ShedCN registry, so you are just inserting one command and everything is going to be installed automatically for you. Many components from motion primitives you can see on almost every website these days, like this animated number, then this glow effect for example, this one you can really see on most of applications these days. Then we have this image comparison which is really nice, it's really hard to build something like this, but to put it just with one command and use it, that one is really easy. Then we have these spotlights. I think it's really incredible how many libraries we have that are open source and free nowadays. 
to have something like this working before you needed like a team of engineers to create some nice UI, modern looking animations, etc. But now as a beginner, you can come here, take some component from a library, put it inside of your project and everything is going to work and it's going to look like attractive, modern and powerful. I hope you enjoyed in this video, warriors. If you think some library deserves to be on this list, just put it in the comments below. I'll check it out. And if you want more content like this, join the Mighty Horde, subscribe.